Mm-mm-mm. Y'all know we don't um we don't do too many um political videos. However, there's some that you just cannot resist. There's just some of them that you just have to say something about. Because it's so crazy. Um, and one of them is how much this man really got in office. Uh, this man that was in office that told y'all he was rich and had a lot of money and yada, yada, yada. And everybody believed him. Not only is he a, a psychopath, he is absolutely insane <laughs> and Letitia James ain't playing with him at all. She's not playing with him. And you know because he's always putting black women down and talking about how uh, they're not very bright and all that kind of stuff. Um, I can imagine how he feels right about now because she got him by the balls. Trump only had, I ain't going to say only, I'm just going to say Trump had $93 million in the bank in his last year of presidency, filing by uh, New York Attorney General um, Letitia James uh, shows, despite telling Forbes that he had $793 million in 2015. Now, you know that's a damn... He just spent a whole lot of money. And it said Trump's cash holding were listed as $114 million in 2016 when he was running for president. They were down to a listed $76 million in 2018 and rising to $87 million in 2019. And reaching $93 million in 2020, his last year in office. New York Attorney General Letitia James filed court papers last week seeking to compel testimony by the Trump, uh, by Trump and his uh, crooked family members. Her office has evidence that the Trump Organization used fraudulent and misleading assets valuations to obtain a host of economic benefits. She said. He told Forbes magazine that he was actually worth seven hundred and ninety-three million dollars. Or at least that's what he had in the bank. And then they found out that he only had 93 million. Are you kidding me? Who? Who? But a white man can get away with something like this in America. Who? I don't even think no white woman can get away with nothing like this. This man is insane. And then y'all got the nerve to be tossing him up and you freaking idiots would follow a liar like this and actually think he's good to run the country. He already tried to overthrow it. It was a cool attempt. You freaking kooks. <laughs> and now he got y'all paid for his legal bills. What kind of madness is this? And what kind of, listen, if it wasn't real, it would be comical. This whole thing, that's why I be saying, why am I straight? You know, what I, you know what I'm saying? I need to get a needle, stick it dead in my veins, and the trip that I'm on will not be half as bad as what I'm living every day watching this crazy, crazy madness. Trump's cash holdings are only a fraction of his empire, though, which relies on real estate, golf courses, and brand assets that are difficult to quantify. Nevertheless, though, they appear to drop well below what Trump had maintained they were, including his long-standing efforts to try to persuade, uh, to place him in high on the billionaire's list. (laughs) 
Oh my God, he's such a fraud. And he got him standing on the uh, golf course looking like a uh, somebody. He better just play golf all day because all the stuff that's coming down the pike on him is just too much. It's just too much. It's way too much. One thing I do like is that he spent so much time um talking so bad about these about black women and women and women in particular black women more specifically uh but he talked about women period okay cuz he's he's um he's got a lot of sick issues so he really doesn't like women very much and let alone a black woman and now he got one in Georgia and one in New York up his ass mm mm and they try, and they don't care nothing about what uh, these other people would do if they was in that position. And unless they stop them from doing a job, they ain't scared. <laughs> they gonna bring his crazy, insane game to an end. And so I'm proud of Letitia James. I'm proud of them and the Attorney General over in Georgia. Y'all keep sticking into this nut case. Because these people ain't going to do nothing uh, 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 constructive about dealing with Donald Trump until y'all take his ass out the, uh, just take him out the equation. Now, and put him in jail or do whatever the hell he's supposed to do. Get him out the picture. This is so insane. And, 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 and hopefully it don't get stalled enough. Listen, y'all, this is a madhouse. It's really mad. It's so ridiculous that I can't even explain it. So with that being said, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share this video. I'll see you in the next.